Oh, it's not recording. Okay, I got that on my system. I'm doing it for a while now. Okay. One moment. Yeah. I am Simon Sable Wolf, and this is eSports. Oh, wait. Um, crap. This is, um, SC2BN is, and also in a, um, uh, eSports visual novel. Yes, eSports. Uh, hang on. Text be how fast is it? Can, okay, no, I won't keep that fast. Um, is that also text speed? I don't wanna. I don't know what that. Oh, okay. Uh, let's keep you window. Don't care if this is full screen or not. Um. That, okay. I don't know how well this is going to be or not. So, new new game. Yay! No play this boy. SC Two VM is a visual novel about Starcraft in South Korea and the people who play it. Oh, okay. Um. If you are new to esports or StarCraft, I used to watch a lot of StarCraft before I ended up recording videos. You can watch a short voice scene, acted scene that will introduce you to a professional StarCraft. Or you can watch the scene later in the extras menu and get right into the action. Uh, I know what StarCraft is, it's a um, real time strategy game pretty much. like. I play enough of Civilization and whatnot, but I've never played StarCraft. I have watched people play it though. Like there was a popular YouTuber I love to watch, but um, he doesn't do videos anymore and whatnot. He pretty much just stopped. Like out of the blue, stopped and didn't know if I was about anything. So yeah, I'll watch it later because I don't know if it's copyrighted, and I don't want this video to get taken. Oh God, what is wrong with y'all's noses? Oh god, their noses, they're so red. In SC2BN, you select the gender of the character MASH. The choice will mostly impact how he or she appears, and the story differences are minor. Okay, so it doesn't really matter, I guess. Now select the main character. Hmm, do I want to be a female that looks like she's done crack and meth and uh, time drugs? Or do I want to be a guy that looks like he's been on a crap ton more drugs? Hmm. Let's go with the guy. Eh. I don't know. I kind of feel better with the female just because he looks a lot. I don't know. Hmm. Any mini money mo? Who do I pick? If that's good old. And la 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 la. Okay. Begin the story as the female main character. Yes, I want to play as the female main character. Mm. Sure. Sure. Let's play as the female. Just because I feel comfortable more. Oh. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. There's, uh, there's a certain feeling that every StarCraft player gets before they lose. Let's try to ignore it at first, as if they're invincible. There we go. Is just another challenge to fight through. Like their past mistakes don't count if they just try a little harder. It's a natural thing to believe otherwise. It contradicts the hours we spend practicing. Still, every player must eventually come to terms with a defeat. That they have to queue up for another game, or maybe that they flew across the world for nothing. Hey, I like going to places for free. <laughs> I haven't met many players that can take a loss in stride. It's painful, it's permanent, it's proof that your <coughs> best isn't always enough. Man, girl, I'm to your eyes. What's that? What's that? Okay. Why don't I hear helicopters or whatnot? Sounds like birds. Long after my elimination, I remain at the PC with a blank look in my eye. You don't even have an eye. You don't even have eyes right now. Flicks shoot from my finger as I leap from page to page. A tournament update mentions my defeat in passing, but no one acknowledges it. When my frustration fades, I'm left only with guilt. 
And now you became a chair. Okay. Nice chair of practice already. I consider sticking around to watch the final few games, but the knot in my stomach persuades me to avoiding more stress. People are nice enough to a foreigner with the heart to attempt a star league qualifier. But if I win, I'm just one more in a long line of losers. Hmm. Hunters spend their best years chasing these sports dreams. One in fifty makes it. This is for those that don't. Okay, does it keep going or okay? Oh hello. Every game of Starcraft begins the same. We need more minerals. Gather resources. Train a worker. Construct a building. Rally an army. Defend a base. Contest the map. Oh god, I thought was... <laughs> Turn something small into something more. <laughs> I thought I was playing StarCraft for a moment. God, I'm stupid. The game is punishing, it's stressful, it's draining, it builds you up and tears you down. Eh, it's not for everyone. It might not even be for me. How many more chances am I going to get? Was well, that my last? <clears throat> oh, the feeling is back. Ha ha ha! Why am I still trying? Why can't I quit? The first rattles the desk. It sends a plastic ball onto the floor. I, ain't, I don't want this to go on the floor. That's mine. My plastic ball. With my chin in hand, I throw myself into the match play. Open the menu or escape or like, clutch. Okay. If I, I force down a measured grass, losing a throwaway ladder, the game shouldn't bother a player of my rank. Scout denial and my poor control of the final fight gave my opponent the age. In retrospect, my mistakes seem obvious. Oh. I toy with the conclusion that he was hacking! <laughs> Oh god, before realizing that I'm just making an excuse, this usually isn't a massive excuse for many games. It's less like CSGO, but I've met a bunch of hackers on CSGO, so, yeah. No, I should not have been able to win that one. Plus, I don't like CSGO for many reasons. Despite the Grandmaster badge next to, handle, to my handle, I find myself too anxious to queue up for another game. The loss that the victory our league qualifier earlier today is helping my mindset. I call my tiny room with a look restless and unmotivated. Sing alone in a dark room for extended periods of time. Why are you loading? Stop that. Why are you loading? That better just be the game. Thank you. Periods of time is incredibly depressing. A fact I learned only when it became a significant part of my life. Only one thing is certain. I've got to get out of here. Okay. Hang on. Okay. Oh, you, okay. This is what that is. So, there's the glossary. Ladder. Shorthand for a line rank play. Ranked. From the lowest to the highest, the leagues of start in StarCraft 2 are bronze, silver, gold, platinum, diamond, master, and grandmaster. Grandmaster rank is awarded to the top 200 players from each region. Thanks. No. Okay. Okay. That's all there is. Um, go away now, please. Ugh. After double checking that my appointment's door is locked, I hustle down the stairs onto the sidewalk. Light grows with each step towards the shining skyline. Ew. No. I wanted to screenshot that so bad. Okay, hang on. I want to do this video on screenshot, but that's ruining it. No. Catchy pop beats and posters of flawless models dominate street after street. Foot traffic is thick and patient. Seal Tower stands tall from a distant hilltop. But 
even the lingering excitement of life in a faraway place can't dredge me out of my hopelessness. Sometimes, especially on days like this, I regret pursuing esports. It's a thought I've had more times than I care to admit since coming to South Korea. I like that building. This looks so beautiful. Even saying that. No! no! Crash! There's no way I can back, is it? Well. Shit. If you want to read that, just pause the video right there for the little second you get. <laughs> and wanted to read it myself for you. But, that's not going to happen. Yeah. Can't backspace. What is StoryCraft? Some respond to that with an explanation on its games, mechanics, or storyline. There are other popular answers too. That requires the dexterity of a pianist alongside the strategic thinking of a chess player. Maybe that's what StarCraft is to most people, but to the hundreds who carve out a living on it, StarCraft isn't such a simple thing. It's the embodiment of competition, a perfect playing field, no need for athletic genes, rabid parents, tutoring, tutting tutors, or expensive summer camps. You pick up the game on your own, you learn, you improve, you work, if you're good enough, you can become a god! Okay, then you're going a little far with that, but yeah, sure. Now, if you fell, you stay a nobody. Doc, I'm not building towards a long term career. I'm friendless in a foreign country. I'm respected by no one. It's always good to have a team of. Son of a. I keep skipping while I'm trying to talk. Oh my god! I am horrible at visual novels! Especially this one. I'll be nothing. But hey, at least I play video games all day. Yes. At least you do. Shit. Hello. Alright. Mama! Are you completely sure you haven't forgotten anything? Do you have enough money for the cab when you land? Are you sure that the apartment got your money? Uh, are you just going to ask me a ton of questions right now? Is your cell phone charged? You brought an extra charger, right? Mom, I'm fine. Please, nothing bad is going to happen. Remember? <laughs> oh, that's my father talking now. Remember, there won't be anyone to do your laundry, cook your meals, or wake you when you oversleep. <laughs> Budget well, and you'll have two miles. I won't hear anything about a loan for the flight home. It takes effort to keep a frown from my face. I'm certain that my parents came to see me off, only so that they could say they did. I've already sunk the entirety of my savings into this. Now isn't the time for some second thoughts. My dad gestures towards the security line and taps his watch twice. Go on. The sooner this is over, the better. Oh, come back in one piece, hon. You're only playing a video game, so I'll come back, please. <laughs> Nothing comes when I think of how to respond, so I only nod with no word. If I don't know a word, my parents walk away. Okay, I think I got. It. Oh God, you pissed! I think I got a screenshot of that. Maybe I got her pissed off face. <laughs> yeah, she has to make her own mistakes. <laughs> I tried to make this pace quickening, even though I want to improve everyone who's doubted me wrong. I'm tired of losing for no one's sake but my own. Move the sun, long set, overhead signs, wash the streets in color. I've wandered so far that a walk back to my apartment would take almost a half hour. My renewed drive to practice my craft drives my search for a place to play. It's not long before I see the words I'm looking for. PC bang. That's where you bang PCs, clearly. The amount of foot traffic to suggest is a pretty popular internet cafe. The sign on the front window lead, reads Golden Zone Fire. Though I've only visited them a few times, PC bangs? Totally a pain. You're banging a PC. 
them bulky pieces. Oh god, I can't I can't make a joke on that. These things are one of the things that interests me most about Korea when I first got into StarCraft. Dunking out for champion status of a neighborhood cafe is old school cool. Like the type of western where a sheriff defends his turf against upstarts and outlaws. It's an idea that a little bit dated these days. Most StarCraft 2 competition takes place either online or in broadcast studios. I'll admit, I've daydreamed of being born a decade earlier and playing the original eSport Brood War during its rise alongside the PC Bang. Will you please quit saying PC Bang? A better time or so they say online. Honestly, it looks like do sex, but yeah. The face kind of differs, so I'm pretty sure it's not. Phone's going off. Okay, you said hey. I'll, I'll get back to you in a moment. <laughs> um, yeah. I turned up the stairs and passed through the doorway I'm on reply right now. They immediately struck by the size of the place. There has to be at least 80 computers. I can multitask. I can try it. The crowd is too large for an ordinary evening. There are more people than there are PCs even. Yes, I'm doing a let's play and trying to respond to somebody on Facebook at the same time. I am ultimate. I'm, I'm doing something very stupid right now. Oh god. I indulge my curiosity on the first person I see, a dark haired guy observing a match of C SC2 from behind someone's order. Excuse me, is there a event going on? What's up? Oh god. Oh god, who are you? I like your hair. The guy turns and looks at me like I'm speaking something other than Korean. After a brief silence, he responds, I love his hair. I love your hair, bro! I wonder if these, this is a real guy. I don't think so. I don't think they are. Oh, I don't know. Are you new or something? How have you not heard of All Out Attack? Yeah, I'm just, I am new, just asking. Uh, hey, hey, don't do that. Don't look at me as if I'm you're pissed off. Dick. He hums and glances away for a moment, though he doesn't apologize. He, though he doesn't apologize, he does fill me in. Wow, asshole. <laughs> look, get that smirk face off of you. Gordon and Zoldfire hosts a StarCraft 2 tournament called All Out Attack once a month. It's one of the few places you will find a decent player outside of an online cup for Star League. Used to be a broad, rude war tournament, actually. I see. Thank you. Are you here cheering for someone? Oh, God. He looks angry. He did not like that. I think his eyes even turned a little bit red. Well, that's just me. He only stares in response. The guy walks away with a shake of his head, mumbling something about foreign. Oh, you dick! You're an asshole. A racist asshole. That's totally what you are. You are a total racist asshole. I'm spinning everywhere. <laughs> Ow. The back of his shirt sports the Korean Pro Gamer Association logo. Maybe he's a rude war fan or something. Is my door open? Nope. Okay. None of the Scorp- None of the StarCraft teams under KPGA's regulations compete in anything except the original game, Brood War. Understandably, they don't want to fracture, seeing they weren't hard to build up. And that's lucky, almost clicked. And that's lucky for those of us trying to keep from drowning in a game that's already deep with talent. KPGA players train for unbelievably, unbelievable hours. Well, I came here to practice. I want to practice. And now I'm presented with an excellent chance to do so. If what that guy said is true. A few stairs follow me as I walk toward, uh, I walk forward to put my name on the sign up list. I must look like a tourist and over my head. Yes. I'm definitely not the first foreigner to go abroad for esports. But most of to but, but, uh, tongue twist. 
<laughs> but most come to South Korea only once they have results or fame. If they're playing for an hour, worth the PC time at the front desk, I settle for a station that has a mouse and keyboard similar to my setup back home. After a few minutes, I join my opponent's game lobby just in time for the start of the first round. His name isn't familiar, so I check his profile to see he's ranked midway through Master League. Not bad for a casual player. He seems eager enough. By the way, he's spamming go, 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 go in the pre-game chat. He's a total dickhead. A douchebag that's going to make his team lose. I had to say that. Uh, yeah. The game gets on the way once I confirm that I'm ready. Now we're in game. Workers, minerals, Vespin gas, and the command center. I start out every match with only these resources at my disposal. At my job, to turn them into something that can defeat my opponent. Generally, that means I need to build structures capable of training units for my army. Now build order determines how my end of the match plays out. The game I've opted for a quick Hellion attack. Not only will it offer me a chance to deal some damage to my opponent, but it will also allow me to scout. But seems I don't have much to worry about. My opponent went for a greedy build order, focusing entirely on his economy and side of his army. He's actually kind of do what I do in most uh, real-time strategy games. I worry more about my economy than my army, but it usually pays off in the end for me. Unfortunately for him, the match isn't going to last long enough for that risk to pay off. My Hellions make short work of a single queen and a handful of Zerglings. With his front line out of the way, I'm free to rush into his mineral line and rush his workers, denying him the resources he needs to muster an army. Oh god, that flash. Facing down a marine re Okay, that... That's getting a little annoying. That's a little loud for me. Tasting down a marine reinforcement. It's not long before my Zerg opponent types out the two letters. GG. Easy. I'm a douchebag. GG. Easy. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> I'll play too much to League Legends. I'm actually serious about that too. As soon as the victory screen displays, anxiety floods into my body. Starcraft is tense. It is an exaggeration to say that there is never a moment to relax until a match is over. Wrestling with confidence, I get up to check my next opponent. Where's my mouth? Oh, there it is. And it's... SL. I draw my lips in a line. And I let my shoulders slouch. Well... That's the end of this tournament run. Esau is one of South Korea's strongest turn players. He's well known for his old school cred. Balance play style and friendly banter. He's lost in the round of eight of last season's VSL. Respectable finish, if not a high paying one. From what I remember, Axel was a damn good Rude War player. But he was out of his prime when the sequel hit last year. So it makes sense that he switched. But I'm considering what sort of rush I should do to steal a win. I feel a tap on my shoulder and turn. He's a fucking you. Huh? So you are a foreigner? Oh shit, it's Axel! Ah. <laughs> then find one and find none other than the man himself standing there. Are these real people? Because I never paid attention for esports on this. I just I had one guy I like watching. This is a bit surreal considering I follow Excel's play for about as long as I've been into StarCraft. Luckily, he's non chalent Manner disarms my surprise. Um, I think we play next round. I'm Mesh, a Terran. He misses a beat before regaining his smile. Likely surprised that I understood and then answered him. Yeah, I saw you won your game. Not bad. Open your eyes, dick. Look at me. Foreigners are an uncommon sight on at all our attacks. Are you a pro gamer? 
What team are you on? I don't know if you could call me a pro gamer at this point, and I don't have a team I'm trying to find one, though. I'm trying to reply to a comment. Just... Cramp. Just... I do my best not to look too hopeful, though it sells blank expression. That doesn't look wrong to me. Just like, looks like he's chilled out. Like, he's just super happy or something. I don't know. He just looks very chilled. Blank expression is hard to read either way. He pauses to scratch his cheek before responding. Just recording a game. At the moment. At the moment. Just recording a game at the moment. Yep. There we go. Yep. Oh, oh God. Please don't reply fast. <laughs> no, good luck. Don't expect. Another easy match. You too. You did not. Fine. Sounds fun. That's what they said. Yeah. They're going to hate me for this video because I'm going to have a conversation we're having. Shit. Oh, God, kill me. At least he left. My stress from before is mostly gone. If I lose, big deal. I'm expected to lose. If I win, I beat Excel. I'm still oh god my easy cheese. I'm still chewing over which cheese I should perform. The four are finally deciding just to play standard. I shouldn't squander the rare chance to practice against a top player. He and I banter back and forth in the pregame lobby for a bit before the game gets underway. Dun dun dun. Oh, hello. XL plus old score brood one turn plus classic marine tank style probably about to crush me. <laughs> they haven't gone up against a player as strong as XL. In a while, there probably wasn't a single person at the VSL qualifier at his level. That only makes a potential victory. All the more tantalizing, it's a chance to prove to myself that I've got what it takes. Even if I've decided on playing standard, I've still got a decision to make how in how to execute my mid-game strategy. This map is well suited for a healing attack. I'll have plenty of room to poke around his expansion since it lacks a choke point. An attack by air might also be a strong option. This the distance between our bases is relatively long by land. But it'll take a banshee less than five seconds to travel from mine to his. I'm confident with both styles. It's just a matter of how I want to execute the attack. Oh, I can choose! Yay! Oh, oh yes! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, he plays tank. Now, what not? Uh, He's a tank player, he's probably going to crush me either way, no matter what I choose. It'll take five seconds for my banshees to get there, I think. Or I could go with my hellions. If he's a tank, I'm going to go to the banshees. Just because it's air. It's an air attack. So. I cut all extraneous unit production to get out a banshee as soon as possible. The earlier I'm able to hit, the less chance the Axel will have the right defenses. With my Banshee in route, I clear out the path to his bay. With a handful of Marines, denying information to my opponent is important, even if I don't plan to attack from that blind spot. Eh. Oh god! It seems to have been the right choice as his marines are out of position when my banshee arrives at his base. I managed to secure a few workers kills before ordering a retreat. Since I didn't lose my banshee, Axel has to spend minerals on air defense, knowing that I prefer to transition to a full ground to a full on ground army. Oh, I like being able to choose decisions. I love it. This game is going insanely well, though. Axel took his expansion before I did. The damage he took puts us on even footing. 
and I follow up with an army of marines, marauders, and dropships, the bread and butter of most Terran players. Since I cleared the space between our bases, he's in the dark about the timing of the, this next attack. There's a solid chance that I could do enough damage here to end the game. But just as I arrive at the outskirts of Excel's expansion, one of his dropships uploads a handful of marines in my base. Tish! That's going to slow down my ability to reinforce. Whoa, shit! With my focus on the drop in my main, Excel rushed into the army and left outside of his base while I wasn't paying attention. He got a concave formation on me. It's just like that, my advantage evaporates, though I managed to stay in the game for a bit longer. Axel rises his lead. Rise lead guards his lead by immediately taking a third base. Soon enough, his economical advantages are reflected in the size of his army. I threw my blunder, Axel plays play was airtight. There really wasn't anything for me to do. With the groan, I offer a GG and concede the match. Well, shit! I didn't exactly throw my lead, but I did get seriously outplayed. Fantasizing about how a victory would have felt doesn't help me keep my mind off the loss. Knowing that I did my best only helps so much. But a moment later, Axel turns the corner with a smile and raises the eyebrows. Hey, good game. You're actually not, you're actually not bad. I assumed you were here for fun or something. Oh, um, thanks. I am here for fun, though. You play really well. <laughs> I got this face again. <laughs> I'm surprised most Ferners don't hit timings like that. Good. Vision control, too. And your scouting was top-notch. You're really not on the team? Are you at least staying at a team house? Or uh, are you studying abroad? Nothing like that. I'm staying by myself in an apartment by the VSL studios. So you came to Korea alone and on your own dime, and you're not just visiting. Uh, da, 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 da. Yes. Oh gosh. I do my best to not to seem awkward about my answer, but any reason to worry disappears when Axel smiles. It takes some serious guts to move out here like that. I can't think of a single person who's made it out on their out here on their own. A few nearby competitors watch our conversation. It's probably not often that Axel gives his attention to a random nobody he crushes early in a bracket. I've got some time before my next game. Let me introduce you to a friend of mine. Oh sure. With a nod, Axel leads me from the PC area to the back of the cafe. We pass a number of known players on the way there, most lounging around no differently than the cafe's other patrons. Patrons. Maybe they aren't that different. I guess even professionals like to kick back with the tangle of chords and rush of caffeine every now and then. Games shouldn't be all business all the time, although I'd bet that KPGA executives disagree. Oh, is that milk? I'm glad to say. Axel comes to a stop away, stop away from the constant tapping of keyboards. He then plops himself into a seat against the wall and invites me to join him with the waves of his hand. As I take my seat, I look up to find someone I recognize at his side. Oh god, why are you so pissed off at me? Jet Azurg, a former VSO champion. <clears throat> C1 StarCraft 2's very first grand final back in the beta eight years ago. She might have been the oh, she might have been the game's most famous player. Her flippant and inflammatory antics have made her a somewhat controversial figure. She rarely GG's and isn't afraid to trash talk on stage. And there she is, just sitting there. It's all I can do not to stare. A smile plays on her lips when she glances past me to Excel. 
Excel, seriously, stop promising my autograph as a reward for reading you. Hilarious. She can understand you. By the way, who are you up against next round? Some Zerg dishwasher on LHT slash. Oh, I hate ZVZ. Jet rolls her eyes back to me. After a brief appraisal, she lifts her chin and speaks a single word. Name. What? No, no shit. Oh, I'm Mac. A Terran. I'm on, uh, well, I'm teamless. Jet shifts her gaze back at XL as if to ask, why did you bring this nude back here? But before she can actually say anything, Axel comes to my defense with an easy smile. Hey, cool. It would the judgment until you've seen her play. Plus, you ever heard of a foreigner that came out here alone just for StarCraft? My girl right here, dude. Oh, yeah, boy. <laughs> you have to admit, that's brave. If that endorsement wasn't convincing enough, he offers one of his classic grins for good measure. Their response seems to satisfy her for now. Yeah, at least you don't look, you still look pissed off that to a point. Well, I try to keep from showing anything to contradict Axel's assessment. Jet aims her attention back at me. Didn't you see... Didn't see your name on the list of people who made it past the VSL qualifier. How did you, how'd you place? I lost my second to last match. The qualifier before that, I dropped out on the final game in the last series. Two attempts without making it, huh? Hard to tell much from that. Mainly depends on the bracket you had. How do you live out here with no team? Do you stream or something? I used to stream, but, uh, well, I don't anymore. Jen raises her eyebrow, waiting for me to elaborate until I look away without missing a beat. She moves on to the next question. So, your parents pay for everything? No, I'm here on my summer job earnings, and a little bit extra from my grandparents. Hmm, how lucky. I never got any handouts. Oh, wow. You look like you're, like, depressed or something. This isn't going very well. Axel looks as collected as ever. I'm watching with the small as the interrogation continues. Did you play Brood War? Not really. I mean, I had a copy as a kid, but I wasn't good. Had to cheat to even finish the campaign. <laughs> Sounds like me on Half Life. Oh, then. You were only a little bit worse than Jess. Jet. And Jet scowled silently at the jab. It's true that the two years she spent playing Brood War were mostly unremarkable. I don't know how long this game is, neither. Then this is your first try at professional gaming? When I nod, she gives me a hard look. Why are you out here? Uh, what do you mean? I'm sure you're aware of your chances. It's been more than five years since a foreign programmer accomplished anything noteworthy in Korea. I know what she's gaining at, but it's not like I have a particular great or unique answer. I scratch behind my head and look away. I mean, why else I want to become better at StarCraft? Big one knows that Korea is the place to do that. Even for League of Legends, pretty much, I've heard. And why is that? Well, because... What the fuck just happened? What? Did she just interrupt me, or... I'm pretty sure I did not accidentally click. Okay, then. No. I'm asking why you want to become better. Oh! Er... It feels like she's forcibly extracting the truth from me. All the same, I can't leave her expression unanswered. She has that expression like non-stop. I do my best to avoid showing embarrassment I feel in my honest response. Because I want to be a champion or at least the or at least or at the least 
show I can compete at that level. And one who plays this game wants that, don't they? Tish, <laughs> you're right about one thing. Every idiot that makes it to Grandmaster takes the map off a good player. Takes their pro gamer material. Okay. A champion, huh? Sheesh. She she clicks her tongue and sighs. <laughs> but doesn't seem displeased. Well, at least any more so than usual. I wouldn't have much ground to stand on if I disagreed with her. Jet is one of the few who has accomplished what the rest of us dream about. Don't be so harsh. Her style is solid, and she stood toe to toe with me for a while. With enough time, she should compete. What do you think? Why don't you practice with her a bit? Yes! Yes, Jet! Let's do it! I could little harm in giving her a chance. Uh, wait, back up. What just happened here? Did she say. Did he say practice, and did she say yes? Damn. Axel answers her with a pleased expression. Just takes a moment to stretch out before again crossing her arms. Like doing the same thing, just she's pissed off. She always looks pissy. I don't know why. I should stop saying pissy. That takes a moment to stretch out her arms before again crossing her arms across her chest. There. Stop staring and say something, Mash. Mac. Mash, I don't know how you say that. The sound of my name wakes me from my stunned silence. I jolt upright and offer a flurry of nods. Oh, I'm going to turn that phone off for right now. Sorry, I say yes. I definitely say yes. Oh, wow. No, okay. I don't like your facial expression. I'm just saying. I don't know. She, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about Jet. Jet and Axel watch me in silence until I lower myself back into my seat. Well, you stop with that mean look, I swear. It takes some determination to come out of here alone. Let's see if it translates to wins, eh? With a thumbs up, it's settled. I have somehow found myself with one of the best practice partners in the world. I really hope this isn't just for the novelty of playing with some random foreigner. Axel, it's about time to get back to all out attack. Wouldn't want you getting DQ'd if we'll be matching in the semis. Can you be certain that I didn't lose to Mac already? What if this was my way of saving face? Oh god! Oh god! You got. Are those eyebrows upon eyebrows? Oh gosh! I don't know what to think about you anymore, Jet. Oh god, I don't like your face going on. You look like you have like four eyebrows now. Hey, have you lost to a foreigner even once? Please stop looking at me that way. <laughs> have you never. Hey, you never know who's playing on a barcode account. You sure you don't want to patch lid final offer? Oh, thank gosh, she's looking normally. Can you whip you not a chance? Okay, she looks normal to me now, but she still looks like she got some four eyebrows. What about you, Mass? You gonna stick around? No. Well, now she's looking pissy again. A PC bang with the hustle of a tournament is in a great training environment. The bracket will probably take a few hours to work the thirst too. Now I'm gonna head home. Got a lot of practicing to do tonight. Playing already? Well, oh, hey, it was nice to meet you. Be at Golden Zonfire tomorrow morning, and we'll find out if you're ever hyped. Will you? I rise and offer them each a nod and thanks before heading back towards the PC area. The last thing I see is a vague smile from Jet. Yeah, she leans over and whispers something to Axel. I don't like that facial expression! <laughs> I squeeze my way through the crowd, growing crowd and managed to make it through the doorway leading outside. When I hit the street, I met, I met with a cool breeze and a rush of voices, sound and light. 
this is it. A shot. One final shot to make it happen. One last chance to live the life I want. I quicken my pace, eager for the comfort of a dark room and bright monitor. Like, I don't know how long this game is, so I don't know. Uh, I think I can save the game. This is the day that everything changes. I don't know a good spot to leave it off at, though. Wait, was that all? Was that seriously all the game? Um, if that was the whole game and not just the intro, uh, okay. Was it, uh, oh, okay, there we go. Tutor were a jet set me a reminder to get over to Golden's on fire for some morning practice. I enjoy playing online and all, but matching against someone only a few feet away is way more productive. Talking over games in person makes it easier to get feedback and improve, and that's why I need more than anything else. Oh, the sting from my failure at the VSL qualifier will take the time to fade. I don't want to experience that pain ever again. Woo! I catch sight of Jet in the middle row, her attention locked on a ladder game. Without disturbing her, I take a seat at her side and watch the match unfold. Furious taps and clicks rattle her keyboard. Her focus never drops from the game, much less her monitor. She's ahead, though not by much. It's not long until she extends her lead in the late game, and a few minutes later, heaves a sigh of relief when her opponent rage quits out. Rage quit! There's no need for me to consult my Korean skills to understand her final message. Zerg IMBA. You actually should. Color me surprised. How could I not? The bare question is how you have the free time to practice with some amateur. I'm the charitable sort, obviously. Anyway, you're here. So let's stop wasting time. You've paid for your PC, yeah? I nog and log myself in, a, in at the station next to her as a minute later. The two of us are grinding out practice matches. Woo! Game after game is a beat down. I can't crack her defenses when I attack, and I'm barely holding on when she goes on offense. She's just as unforgiving in pointing out my mistakes as she is in game. Your wall at the ramp to your natural is trash. Your wall at the ramp to your natural is trash. How the hell do you get away with this? You're asking her to get busted. It's not something I really think about that much. I just throw it up, you know. Fix it or be punished. That probably isn't an idle threat. Jet is the type of player capable of ending the game instantly if she can capitalize on the right kind of mistake. Her style has been characterized as both passive and reactive. She takes her time and watches her opponent's patient for the right moment to strike. She only takes a risk if it's calculated in her favor. Given her former success, the style has suited her well. The I can't help but wonder why she hasn't lately been performing at her previous level. Maybe she's lost her killer instinct. Oh god. Guess not. A reminder of the skill different not green stuff though. <laughs> Guess not. A reminder of the skill difference between us rushes up the ramp to my natural expansion and crushes my wall as promised. In the aftermath of the destruction, she warms my base and seizes an army to win, and he's a win. Jack reveals in her victory with a predatory smile. Wrecked. Wrecked, bro. Before we get into the next game, I catch the sight of a familiar face coming into the cafe. Oh, hello. Huh, isn't that the game, same guy from last night? Yes, it is. Hey, Jet. Do you know what, who that is? I thumb in the stranger's direction as he passes by us. 
His attention occupied by a cell phone screen. Jet trolls a look after him. Wrinkles her nose and shrugs. He's a KPGA player. Protoss. What about him? Come on, get into the game already. Seriously, he was at all out attack yesterday. What's he doing outside of his team house two days in a row? They're only figuratively chained to their desks. Not all of them are shut ins. Stop wasting time. Let's go. I double take away from Jet to find the player in question seated a few rows in front of us. And he's got the StarCraft 2 client open. Why would a KPGA player spend his practice time not anything but Brood War? Hmm. Should I ask him for a game? I think I'm going to ask him for a game. Okay. What? No, hold on, wait. You can't just... But before she can saw me arise and shuffle my way past the rose computers. Jet shoots me with a withering glare over the top of our station before ducking back down. Even though I've barely interacted with this guy, I can't help but feel a little anxious as I edge closer to his PC. Sure, he was a bit rude when we spoke, but the chance to challenge a KGPA pro is too good to pass up, especially if I'm trying to step up my game. He's about to jump into a match when I clear my throat right behind him. He suddenly alt tabs and turns to regard me through half lidded eyes. What? Excuse me, would you mind a practice game? Uh, no. I'm just here to. He pauses, recognition fits across his face. You're the chick from All Out Attack yesterday, aren't you? For a moment, he looks ready to dismiss me and get to laddering, but the last, at the last second, he nods. Alright, one game. With a final nod, I return to my station a moment later. He and I share a game lobby and are just ready to begin. He's playing on a barcode account, typical. How have I still not managed to catch this, to catch this guy's name? A sharp tap against my headphones announces Jet's return and displeasure. You're obnoxious. If you lose, embarrass me by association. I'm going to pretend I don't know you. Anything else Jet has to say is drowned out along with the sound of golden on fire when I pulled the ear back back on. Ear pad back on. Yeah. He plays Protoss? Everything else is a mystery? So, okay, he plays Protoss, but I don't know his play style or anything, so. If the idea behind practicing against a good player is to improve, if I, I should probably play standard. Oh, hello. Still, the temptation to all in always there. How sick would it be to grab a quick one on the KPG? We don't even know how he plays the game. We don't know his play style or anything. There's, like, no way we could fucking win this. Like, <laughs> I'm tempted to do an early attack, but uh, let's go an early attack. That's work. That almost helped with Excel, so I don't know how he plays, so screw it. I'm not in the mood for macro. I play two. I place two early barracks mid map, just outside his scouting path. With luck, he won't see my strategy until it's coming at him. My heart pounds as I watch my marine count grow. He still hasn't created scouting my all way all in. This is a huge advantage. I've got this. I bring my marines to his base and charge up the ramp leading to his high ground. I leave an SCV on the low ground to construct a bunker. Just in case I have to fall back. He retreats with his long Z lot and begins to chrono brutalize something out of his gateway. Likely a stalker, he still has it. Pulled his probes, so I started heading towards the mineral line. Oh, hello. Shit, he preemptively pulled a handful of probes and hid them out of my vision. Well, if my exit cut off, I won't be able to escape. 
things look even worse when he gets his first stalk route. He might actually hold this. I do everything I can salvage the situation, but it's too late. The single marine I managed to get into my bunker is useless at this point. From the low ground, I can't do any damage to his units. My attack was completely routed. Even though he didn't scout out the rush, he defended without breaking a sweat. I don't have long to skulk in defeat before the KGPA player makes his way over to me for smirk as promised you guys nowhere to be seen. That was ugly. Tush. The worst part is that I don't even disagree with him. Yeah, well, nice micro, I guess. You guess? Well, maybe you're right. Didn't take all that much effort to defend against such a pitiful rush. Oh god, you look so evil! His grin. Actually, um, I don't know. I kind of want to use that for the thumb, though. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, I think I took it. <laughs> I might actually use him for the thumb, though. I might just use his face. No, no. <laughs> his grin darkens to one without humor. Is this guy serious? What the hell is your problem? You demand a game, a wine, when you get a little pushback. Look who's talking. Everyone knows your type. The foreigner out to make a name for herself. You fly out on a whim, get away six weeks training. You aren't the first, and firstly won't be the last. Your plane ticket doesn't buy you, right? To call yourself a pro gamer, save your money and your time, and get back home. I feel the heat rise in my face, half in anger and half in embarrassment. I've never dealt with confrontation. I don't know how long this game is either, so I don't know how long I should do the episodes. But before I can say anything else, Jet steps out, steps out from around the corner and cuts between the two of us. Still great at making friends, huh, Bolt? He glances between the two of us. Surprised after a moment pause, the so called Bolt back his smirk and meets Jet with a step forward. Been a while, hasn't it? What's uh, supposed Story League champion doing up in Bo looks past her and tilts her head tilts his head towards me. I take a step towards him, but an open palm from Jet stops me from going any further. Maybe I shouldn't be surprised jumping into a ship. Jumping ship to a scene blow with foreign money has its upsides. Well it won't be long before you forget the dignity of a pro gamer. The dignity of a pro gamer, huh? You make it sound so distinguished. You've chained for the worse, and you don't even realize it. How sad. You shouldn't be much longer until the KGPA finally accepts that there is no future in Brood War. You're smart enough to know what happens then. But hey, the scene could always use more casters. Whatever you say for the record, what excuse did you give your coach for another day off? VIP's a little more lax than shot to you one. But I might want to bar it someday. At that, Malt scowls yet doesn't waste the opening and strikes again. Don't worry, dog son. Your secret's safe with me. Run along now. I'm sure you've got coins to flip or something. The standoff lasts a moment longer. Bolt lets out a lazy shrug, instantly killing off the intensity in his expression. I've got better things to do than offer advice to a mouthy chobo. Do you do what you want. His thumb he, he thumbs his nose at me and returns to a station without another word. As soon as Bolt's out of sight, Jet takes my arm in a vice and practically drags me away. Okay. Oh god. What the hell was that? He didn't even scout you. Is this how they play on the NA servers? Even after a heated confrontation, her concern is with the match. Before anything else, I almost laughed. It was stupid of me. I thought I could just grab a quick win. 
play what you practice for God's sake. If you're going to two wrecks in a tournament match, you better be damn sure you've done it a hundred times on a ladder. Her point of critique diffuses the tension. For moments prior, even if it doesn't exactly make me feel any better. When she done when she's done going through my last slit long list of mistakes, Jeff flicks a hand back towards the PC. Come on, crew up a game against me. This is actually really good, I like the score. I told you I wasn't filling up the practice after we played a few more games one side a few more one side games. She seemed annoyed by agreeing with my suggestion to take a short break. Back in high school, I used to spend most of my time at the library when class was over. To be honest, this is probably the most I willingly spent outside my room since then. I'm not the type to read for sure or study diligently, but it was nice to have a place to go and be on my own. I've missed those afternoons since I graduated. But as going to the zone fire is a good is as good as a replacement hangout as I could hope for. It's clean and comfortable. It has pretty much everything that I need to stay 24-7. This is an exaggeration. Some of the patrons here look practically glued to their chairs. Oh god. There you again. With a milk tea. A milk tea. Never heard of that before. With a milk tea from one of the viewing machines. Oh, so that was milk. That I saw. Okay. Name machines in my hand. I return to my seat across from Jet. She isn't wearing the same scowl from earlier, but I can tell she'd rather be practicing. And I need some water because my throat, my mouth feels really dry from all this reading. I think I've been reading for near an hour. I don't. What are you drinking? She snatches up the can across from her and takes a long slip. Coffee! What kind of coffee? Coffee is coffee. I don't drink sugary junk. Coffee can be sugary. It depends on much you put. Sugary and creamy. And for the record, it's obnoxious to challenge someone that you don't know to a match. Yeah, I did not know his play style, his name. Or anything. It was stupid. Is it really such a big deal? All I wanted was a practice game. And you failed. Even with an early attack. You knew everything. Without even looking. Do you know those types that stream snipe and start shit on message boards so that people pay attention to them? All too well, unfortunately. That's you. Except you did it in your own life. Bolt's a real tool, too, though. Isn't he? What kind of a prick? <laughs> Jack cuts herself off with a hiss and grits her teeth. How do you know him? His, na his name is Bolt. Yes, he plays for Shock T1. Shock, huh? Bolt must be a new recruit. I haven't paid much attention to them or any other Brood War team since StarCraft 2 came out, but he definitely was on the roster a year ago. Right, but how do you know him? Jet clicks her tongue and breaks her gaze from me. Away from me. I silently appreciate the reprieve from her death glare. She always looking like she wants to kill me, I guess. That's her natural glare. She would make a perfect Pokemon. Let's ignore I said anything like that and get back into the story. If you must know, he and I went to the same middle school. I was in the class above him. Oh, okay. I was thinking he might have knocked you out of a tournament or something. I really want to end this episode really bad, but I don't know where I want to end it. No, I've never played him in Star League. You don't need to know. You don't need to overanalyze anything. Silence falls between us while Jet nurses what remains of her dream. 
I can't tell if she's really into that coffee or if she's just trying to find something to occur, uh, 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 pocky, occupy her lips other than our conversation. I doubt Jet spends much time at PC Banks, even given that she's got a team house to practice from. I should consider myself lucky that she'd make time to come out, out here at all. You know, it makes zero sense for you to focus on qualifying for VSL, right? I blame myself for my thoughts to meet Jet's intense stare. What do you mean? What's the point of us meeting up to practice then? I'm no, I'm not saying listen. I want to round up some players. For what? For a VSTL. Team League? But you're already on the team. Yeah. Yeah? Stop touching your face. She waves consideration whether or not to tell me what I've already figured out. You're leaving VIP. Jet eyes jumped to mine. Brows raised in surprise and then for Danoy. She's been on uh, VIP for almost a year. And is by far the team's best player. Management barely pays us. And nobody is motivated. They're worse than bad. They're complacent. I want a fresh start. I'm not guilting you. It just isn't something I expected to hear. Do you have a team house picked out? Oh god, her eyes scared me. <laughs> no, not yet. What about coach? No. Um, what do you have flares in mind? Look, it's a work in progress, okay? I got it from her glare and weighs my hands defensively. Er, alright? It's not my business. Don't chase me, bro. For a while, silence. Jet does her best to avoid eye contact. But I can tell she's thinking hard about something. Oh shit, I've been recording this for an hour. It's 1.04 p.m. Holy fuck. I need to end this episode. This is going for too long. This has taken a bunch of time. Well then. This is going to take a long time. <laughs> this says I'm about to replace my milk tea with another. She speaks. Um, since I'm getting a new milk tea, uh, I don't know how much longer this part goes, but, um, well, yeah, I'll um, be yeah, uh, yeah, I'll, uh, yeah, yeah, um, I think I'm just like, you know, in the episode here, since there's nothing else being said, it might be a cliffhanger, I don't know. Uh, yeah, leave a like, subscribe, so on, so on. And I'm Simon Sablewolf, and I am lining, uh, not lining, I am signing off. And I hope you enjoyed my hour long greeting. If I bored you to death.